Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ask Abby, where we answer all of your questions about credit, debt, finances, any of that stuff. So we have a great show for you today. Um, welcome. Happy Wednesday. And today we're answering the question of what do you do if you have run out of your stimulus check? Those started being distributed to consumers on April 15th, so that's well over a month ago now. And um, what do you do if you have just run out? So we're answering that question for you today in a few ways. We're answering it by saying what, what you shouldn't do, where you shouldn't be looking for funds. And then additionally, you know, where can you find that extra if you really need it right now? Let's say you're unemployed or um, furloughed or had a reduction in income, things like that. So where can you find that extra when you really need it? That's what we're talking about today. Um, just a quick reminder to like and share our video. It'll help um, your friends, your family get answers to financial questions that a lot of people are asking right now under the current economic circumstances. So make sure you um, tap the like button and share our video. And we're, if you only have a few minutes, we're just going to go, you know, what, where should you, what should you not do? There are a couple of things that you shouldn't do if you're looking for cash right now. Um, and those are payday loans and credit card cash advances. Why? The fees are out of this world on those two ways to get cash. Plus, if you don't pay them back in a certain amount of time, the interest just keeps con collecting and collecting and collecting. So what could originally be a few hundred dollars turns into thousands on the back end if you're not careful. So if you're looking for cash right now, pass on payday loans and on credit card cash advances. Um, like I said, if you only have a few minutes, those are the two big ones you want to you want to be able to know, share this video so that other people know. But we're gonna dive in a little bit deeper today. We're gonna talk about some of the things that you can do if you're looking for cash right now and your stimulus check has run out. So that said, um, why shouldn't you take out a payday loan? The big reason is because they charge 10 to $30 per every $100 that you take out. Even on the low end, that is a lot of money and that's from the time you initially take it out that doesn't even take into consideration if you don't pay it back in a certain amount of time so with all the crazy changes that are going on right now and with the uncertainty of you know if you are unemployed when are you going to be able to go back to work things like that um, payday loans will not allow you any flexibility so that's what you're looking for right now is just find find a way to meet your needs without jeopardizing your financial stability in the future. Another thing is that you want to avoid is credit card cash advances. Um, the reason is, is that as soon as you take out a credit card cash advance, you're usually charged a fee of three to five percent immediately. So that's unlike, you know, when you swipe your credit card at the store and over time you get your um, APR, your interest is maybe, you know, 20 percent, 30 percent, whatever it might look like for you in the future that's charged. But immediately, if you do a credit card cash event advance, they charge you those three to five percent usually as soon as you draw that out. Plus, that's plus the interest on the cash advance that's usually higher than your normal credit card APR. So um, those are a couple things that you just want to avoid doing. Last week, we actually talked about three things you should do and three things you shouldn't do during with your finances during the pandemic. Um, we simplified it for you. So I'm going to put that link in the comment bar for you. Um, if you didn't get a chance to watch last week's show, uh, definitely go back. It's super simple. Three things you should do, three things you shouldn't do. So definitely go check that video out. And if you have any questions while I'm rolling through this on anything that we talk about today, please drop them in the comment bar and um, I will get back to you on those questions. Um, so with that in mind, those are a couple of things you should not be doing right now. So you know, what can you do? If, if your stimulus check has run out, 
and it's May 20th. So, you know, rent might be coming up here pretty soon on the first and um, mortgage payments, things like that. So if you need cash, what do you do? Well, many of you might have heard that with the CARES Act, um, you can, if you've been affected by the coronavirus, tap into your retirement funds. Um, this, my advice to you would be definitely consider all your other options first. Why? Because there are still some major, major things to consider, like even if you draw out your retirement right now and there's not the usual penalty for the year 2020, you still owe taxes over the next for 2020 on those funds. So you can draw out up to $100,000 from your retirement without penalty this year, but you still owe those taxes, not the usual 20% federal withholding, but you still owe taxes, which if you are in a financial struggle right now, um, it's just important to look long term, short term, what are the benefits and um, disadvantages of doing something like that with your finances? Where are you in your life? If you're younger, it might be worth keeping that in because it will eventually go back up. So just really take a look at your finances personally and decide if tapping into your retirement is something that's really your last option right now. Some other options um, with that in mind, because you know, with the CARES Act, there are some things that are available for you, that being one of them, but there are other options too that aren't talked about as much. For example, um, a few weeks ago, we talked about what do you do if you can't pay your bills? Well, there are so many creditors, lenders, and servicers that have relief options available for you right now to either um, defer or even cancel those payments altogether for a couple of months. And one of those is student loans. We talked a lot about that a couple weeks ago. Right now, until until September, you do not have to pay your federal student loans. Plus, interest isn't accruing on those. So you can take those funds that you're normally paying month to month and attribute them somewhere else in your budget where you really need them. A couple of other things that you can think about with that in mind too is your bills like rent. Um, a lot of, well, in the CARES Act, it states that if you're renting from, um, it's if you have federal housing that you're renting from, or if your landlord has a mortgage that's federally backed, you cannot be evicted right now. So something to keep in mind. Additionally, let's say you're renting and those two qualifications aren't relevant for you. You're it's not a federal it's not federal housing and the mortgage isn't federally backed many states have also implemented their own um, bills that allow you to that avoid protect you from being evicted so um, there are plenty of states that are doing right now go to your attorney general's website um, for your state specifically and see if that's an option for you if you can defer your rent right now without penalty, that could really, really save you some money. It's not finding new cash, it's finding funds that you would already be responsible for, but being able to attribute those somewhere else where you might need it more. Um, so find out if that's an option for you. The big, big thing with that in particular is, regardless of what protections are put in place for you in your state, make sure you communicate with your landlord. You're probably protected and that's great and your landlord probably knows that. Regardless, it's a good idea um, to just be able to share with them your circumstances, when you might be able to pay again and work together on some sort of agreement um, and just do your due diligence there. There are some templates available out there for you. I don't have the link with me right now, but I will find that link um, for that letter to your landlord and put it in the comment bar for you later so that if you're looking to for an, a simple templated way to communicate with your landlord in your state um, and that that's an option, you can find that um, and I, I'll put that in there for you later. So look for the bills that either you don't need to be paying for right now 
like maybe you can get rid of one of your streaming services while that might only be 10 15 dollars a month it could save you if you have three or four streaming services we talked about that a few weeks ago um, of cleaning out your finances and really analyzing them and seeing spring cleaning your finances you've probably spring cleaned your closets so how can you clean out your finances we talked about that a little bit um, a few weeks ago so make sure that you go in and check out the link I just put in to the comment bar so that you can figure out if there are things you can eliminate from your budget and save a little bit of money and allocate that elsewhere so student loans rent your other bills like cable call your cable provider and let them know the circumstances that you're in see if you can either pause your service or even negotiate your payments down a little bit if not permanently then just temporarily so there are options for you a lot of people are working with with you at this time there are a few other ways um, one is that there are times when you're owed money from whether it be from the state or anything like that where if you've moved they can't find you and so there are refunds or payments out there from the state that they try to get to you and they go unclaimed so how do you find those you can go to unclaimed.org or i'm putting the link into the sidebar here to find your state's website to put in your information um, and be able to see if you have any unclaimed funds they're actually already your money they just haven't been able to be paid out to you because um, whatever the system is that was trying to pay you those funds didn't have the correct information for your address or your phone number or your bank account things like that so go to unclaimed.org and see if you have any unclaimed funds that money is already yours um, sometimes what the state does is just utilize that those funds that haven't been claimed for state funding but they have the ability to pay you those funds anyways so that's a, that's a big one that's money that's already yours check it out if that is something um, that you haven't done already a couple of other ways you can save some money is or even make a little bit of money are using apps and tools like Rakuten or Ibotta if you're making purchases that you already make on a month to month basis things that you already need that um, you have to spend money on use these apps because what they do is either provide you with coupons or discounts or cash back based on your purchases so um, I'm sure you if you haven't heard of Rakuten I will put a link to I will put links to Rakuten and Ibotta below you can just you know make your own account if you're making a purchase you might as well use these types of couponing tools or cashback tools um, for things like groceries or fuel if you need to fill up your car this is money you're already spending and you might as well get a little bit of cash back um, if you're doing that so a couple of things there now there are two other ways that you can make a little bit of extra money um, if you need to this they're not as simple as the above the things we've talked about before but there are so many companies hiring right now um, for a few reasons because demand has gone up or alternatively people who have been either laid off or furloughed and their companies are bringing people back have been making more money collecting unemployment than they were when they were actually working they don't want to go back to work um, if you need a job if you need income right now there's huge opportunity for you at local restaurants that are starting to open convenience stores home improvement stores CVS Walgreens pizza places food deliveries grocery stores things like that those are all hiring right now um, and if you're for some reason you can't collect unemployment or unemployment hasn't started for you yet you can go ahead and get another job and the secret with this is is it, let's say you've already filed for unemployment and you were unemployed for the month of April you can still find another job now and though the unemployment checks will still for April 
be applied and you will still get that back pay. So um, even though you've gotten another job, you won't get unemployment moving forward, you can still get a job and get that payment from the previous time that you were unemployed. So that's a big one. Make sure that you're looking if you um, need employment at local restaurants, convenience stores, um, home improvement stores in particular. Ace Hardware said that they're hiring right now. Target has said that they're hiring right now. Places that have a really high demand um, are all hiring for part-time and full-time work. So that's a, that's a great way to, if you're unemployed or furloughed um, or have a reduction in income, get a little bit extra right now. And then the final way that you can um, get some help with maybe your bill payments is the, um, there's a program from the NFCC that allows you to, um, that's the National Foundation for Credit Counseling, that allows you to skip your bill payments. So I have a link for you that I'm gonna put into the side. This is a free program that allows you to talk to a nonprofit credit counselor and they'll help you look at your creditors. Most creditors right now are allowing you to skip your payments. This is huge. So if you have credit card payments that you can't make and you've been affected by the coronavirus, go to the NFCC website. I put the link in the comment bar. So go to their website, look a little bit about it. What you can do is work with a counselor to skip your payments for one to three months of payments. So that could save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars that could be allocated somewhere else like rent, food, transportation, really the essentials that you need to survive. So it's a free, because the NFCC is a nonprofit agency, um, it is a free tool it's a free service that they're providing and they will help walk you through how you can skip your bill payments. So that link is right here. Um, the other thing you can do is go to our website, creditanddebt.org. Um, we have coaches as well that'll help you. We'll get on the phone with you for free. So go to the website. We also are developing, we are creating this brand new tool that allows you to, um, really take a deep look at your finances and it create and you can call our coaches and we'll help you create a budget based on the tool but it's coming out soon so you can go to our website you can sign up to get on the wait list to be the first ones notified when our tool launches but right now we have some great content on the site for you if you have questions about what you can do with your finances right now so go to the website check out our it's creditanddebt.org i will put the link for you um in the comment bar so check out the new website it's awesome and we're really excited about it we're excited to help you with your finances and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to reach out um, we are here for you guys we always say we want to give you the credit you deserve um, and we mean that in more than just credit score, right? So um, finances are not easy to navigate, especially right now. So we're here for you. If you have questions, we have coaches available. You can ask me questions. You can email me at askgabby at creditanddebt.org um, or just send me a message on Facebook. Um, you can go to my page or just send us a message on the credit and debt page. But we're here for you if you have questions about your finances right now. So make sure you like and share this video so that we can help your friends and family on Facebook really get a handle on what to do if your stimulus check is running low and you need a little bit of extra cash. So um, I hope you all have a great week and a great weekend. And we will talk to you next week for a great topic. We're gonna dive in a little bit more to our website and some of the tools that it offers. So check out the website right now. And if you're curious, make sure you mark your calendars for next Wednesday, May 27th at 1230 Pacific, because we're gonna dive in a little bit deeper into how that can help you. Thanks everybody, bye.